Hi everyone, this is Jim Egan, head of school, Synap School with a Friday update. Uh, we had our first week back full days, K-8, tremendous amount of energy, tremendous amount of fun going on uh, around Synapse. Uh, and, and I was glad uh, to have uh, a day, a half day today, virtually on Fridays um, to, to catch my breath and to um, make sure that we are iterating on what we're doing while we learn uh, how to reemerge uh, all in one space. Uh, so it was a great week and a very busy Friday uh, on a quieter campus today as well. Uh, I first want to uh, recognize the situation that's going on in India. We have so many families with loved ones in India and we're going to have a community circle uh, this coming week. It'll be in the newsletter, so please read about it. Uh, May, our director of SEL, uh, wanted me to announce this. We recognize uh, this is a, a, a tragic and terrible situation. We understand so many of our community members are being impacted. Uh, and so May uh, graciously and, um, and just in a, in a kind manner has put together a, a community circle uh, that'll be next week in the evening. So please, um, please read the newsletter. Uh, I also want to point out that my, my biggest fear with the K-8 full days on campus uh, has come true. We are creating a lot of traffic, uh, certainly in the morning, but even more so in the afternoon. So today, uh, leadership got together. We had a long, uh, robust meeting, uh, discussed all kinds of options, and we're going to give you some new instructions, uh, parents. And so please share these with caregivers, whether it's a grandparent, whether it's um, a nanny. So lower school and middle school siblings uh, that window to be uh, picking those kids up is 3 o'clock to 3.25. That's lower school and middle school siblings. Uh, middle school pickup will be 3.25 to 3.45. After school pickup, remember, we're adding after school or after care, excuse me, after care pickup uh, is 3.45 to 4.15. If uh, you don't make it to your pickup window, say middle school parents, the kids will be going to uh, aftercare, right? So that's going to happen. So again, lower school pickup, including those middle school siblings, three o'clock to 325, middle school pickup, 325 to 345, aftercare pickup is 345 to 415. Please do not come uh, outside of your relevant window so we can manage the car flow. We want to be those good neighbors. I will also say I've reached out to one of our wonderful neighbors, Sports House. If you want to walk in to avoid any uh, waiting in line, uh, you can park behind Sports House in the very back lot uh, at any point and come and walk into campus and, and grab your, your, your child and have a nice little walk back across Fifth Avenue. Uh, that's what I would do. Uh, so Sports House has, um, has allowed us to do that as well. Okay, a few other announcements. May 22nd, big date. We're throwing our end of the year shindig, our fundraiser and our community event. It's coming together. Wow, there's a lot of work that goes into trying to do a live event in San Mateo County. Uh, as many of you may know, uh, events are capped by uh, numbers and there's all kinds of restrictions. So until we get to the yellow tier in San Mateo County, we're not there yet. Uh, 300 person max. That includes everyone that's there, whether it's the performers or those helping with parking or a teacher or a parent. So um, ticket sales are limited. So I'm really pushing for uh, at-home tickets. Sarah Hill is helping orchestrate this event. Told me to really push those at-home tickets. You will be able to see the show. We're live streaming it. It should be really amazing, the, all the performers and the performances. Uh, this is a way you can help support our school, help support teachers, see the show, and um, really be uh, a member of our community if you can't make the event or we sell out tickets, right? So we have at-home tickets as well. Remember, this is a spring fundraiser uh, for our people, right? That's the theme for our people, whether it's our families and our students uh, or our teachers as well. And uh, lastly, we have 18 days left. That's it on campus. Again, Monday through Thursday, we will have a town hall this coming Monday. It will be a sort of state of the school address. 
uh, won't, won't be any formality, uh, but I like to do a spring uh, state of the school. This will be a sort of state of the school where I'll talk about some of our plans, some of our decisions, what we have learned. Uh, and um, I think it'll be worth coming to that is Monday night. There will be no uh, distance learning um, town hall before that. So it'll just be an eight o'clock town hall Monday night, sort of state of the school. And um, what I hope can happen is that we have a wonderful weekend ahead and that those final eight days, 18 days uh, are, are without incident. That's always been the goal. And whether, whether it has to do with our health and safety in the pandemic or in our neighborhood, uh, that's, that's the goal. And so again, thanks for all your support and your trust in us. I will see you very soon.